What's up to me, Academy? Um, just got a bit of a mail day today. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I did get some cool stuff for my personal collection and some stuff to flip. Uh, just a short video today. We also got some jumpstart packs that I'll open up um, from my intern. Uh, yeah, so let's dive right in. First, we have a banned card. Um, I sadly did not pick this up before it got banned, and uh, the price skyrocketed, but now I have it. So the last big card I need from, from my full Arabian Nights set, and this is not in great condition. It's, and I probably overpaid for it, but um, it's in like LP minus, MP plus kind of, eh, it might just be MP. Um, last card I need for the full set, the last big card I need for the full set would be Alley from Cairo. Um, also picked up a Tundra in LP condition. She's pretty. Um, surface looks really good. There's a little bit of light wear around the edges on the back, but uh, it's a nice LP. So I think I've decided I'm going to build a second full set of revised. Um, so I'm going to pick, be looking for a full set of LP duels. Um, yeah, I've got one set in near mint, but I figure I'll just build another played one because, um, well, let's just show you. Down here, I've been stockpiling uh, just random revised cards, all kinds of stuff. Um, Knocking stuff over. Uh, some more stuff that came in today. I forgot I even ordered these. I ordered these a while ago. Um, it was part of a small bundle deal. So it's um, it's the uh, Commander Anthology One and Two, um, which I'll probably break down into singles and flip. I think I'll I'll be able to turn a significant profit there. Um, and it also came with. Uh, this is the main reason why I ordered this, and I figured I could use the profit to kind of... This is for my um, my personal collection. I just thought it was really cool. I think there were only 20 um, made, and uh, I got my first Black Lotus. Uh, let me see if I can zoom. Can I zoom out? No, I'll just have to. Um, so this is a playmat. Black Lotus Playmat, and it's signed by Rush um, from 2016. Uh, so I just thought it was super cool, and I wanted it, so I got it. Um, that was probably the most exciting thing that came today. And we just had some other random stuff come in. Uh, I can't decide whether I'm going to actually play with this Playmat or whether I'm going to get it framed. Um, I'll probably get it framed one day. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'd really like to get framed. Some um, War of the Spark full sheets that, you know, they're, doesn't, what else are you going to do with it, right? Uh, I got those for about 90, 90 bucks a piece, I'd say, between 70 and 90. Um, so I thought it was a good deal. There's, what, 27,000 of them out there, but I still think they're cool. Um, I like full sheets. I don't, those are the only ones I have um, because most of them are really expensive. Um, I'd like to get more in the future. It's just one of those like weird things like artist proofs um, that are hard to come by. But uh, so we just got some, some staples here. Uh, there's this guy, Connor, who sends me um, pink envelopes. He's the pink envelope man. Um, and he'll just send me messages and say, hey, do you want this lot? So we've done probably five or ten deals. He, he kind of feeds my inventory. A um, couple big, big dudes. Um, some foily Croxas. Some newer stuff. Psych Rift, Ember Cleave. So like most of this will just get put up on TCG Player or put into my uh, Facebook spreadsheet and get sold. Oh, actually there was, um, 
the Emrakul, I actually came back to me. I sold it on TCG Player in lightly played condition because it's near mint, but there's this factory roller line on it, so uh, he did not agree with lightly played condition, so he sent it back for a refund. Um, and I listed it again on TCG Player in lightly played condition because I truly think that's lightly played. If you disagree with me, put a comment below. Um, it's totally sleeve playable. You can't even notice it in a sleeve and overall the card is near mint. So uh, he wanted to say it was damaged. I was like, well, if that's the case, I'm not just return it and I'll give you a refund. So whatever. Um, probably the most expensive thing that came in was 2,000 stamps. Uh, there was a good deal on eBay. Sadly, I missed out on 5% bucks by like 10 minutes. Um, I like how they, they send you that notification five minutes after you spend $700 on stamps. Uh, what else? I think that's it that came in for mail. Let's take a look at these Jumpstart packs. So, um, a dude was at Target and he saw the Jumpstart packs for five bucks a pack. He said, do you want any? And I said, yeah, just buy them all. I'll take whatever you don't want. So he got 20 packs and, sorry, SD card was full. Uh, yeah, he got 20 packs and um, I guess he opened 10 of them, had some good hits. I think he hit Bruvac and something else. Uh, so I figure I'll just open them up. I've got about 24 packs already. Um, some of them came opened in a collection, about 16 of them. Um, I'm currently trying to sell those on eBay, but I don't think they're going to sell. So I'll probably wind up just like sleeving all 24 up and uh, having some jumpstart packs around the house. So um, hopefully these will turn out well. Um, and yeah. Let's see. I didn't really pay for them. I mean, I kind of did, um, but I, uh, how the heck did you? Okay. Um, well, first let's do that. He, uh, kind of works for me in a little, uh, he works for store credit. Um, I have him come over and sort, sort lands and stuff like that. Um, he was packaging for me on TCG, like TCG player orders. Um, but since we went direct, I, I have no real need for that anymore, so, uh, honestly, he doesn't come over that often, um, but, uh, you know, I can, I'm starting to get everything kind of organized here, and I'm going to start doing bulk listings and whatnot again, um, and I've got lands back up on eBay, so, I may, if he's down with it, I may have him, Tyler, if you're watching, Come to work. Um, yeah, so he, I paid store credit. I used his outstanding store credit to, or his difference in store credit in hours. He owed me, I had paid him more. Um, so I used that difference to pay for these packs. All right, let's open up some jump starts. Do we want, I don't know what the deal is with these. I know if you hit a misprint pack, but I'm assuming these are second print run or third print run or whatever, second wave. So I'm not, a, I'm not thinking we're gonna hit any, um, any like super crazy, what is with these? Super crazy misprints. Do I have to go all like this? Do crazy. All right. Um, dinosaurs. Is that good? I don't know. I I don't know. There's a lot of packaging with this. I feel pretty bad. Like I'll, I mean, I'll I'll obviously recycle all the cardboard, but there's like two sets of plastic after the cardboard. What's this one? Dinosaurs again. I hope dinosaurs is good. If this is dinosaurs as well, I'm gonna lose my lose my shit. This is the easiest way to open them. No pull tab on these? These are pretty hard to open packs. Right. 
Nope, I got well red. So I haven't opened any of this. I've gotten um, I've gotten some full packs that were open for the house. Um, and then, like I said, I got 16 packs that the outer layer was open. I think he opened them, he was looking for misprint. Um, but I don't think any of the good decks were in there either. There was no elves or whatever the vampires. I think that's supposed to be a good one. Um, and then I guess I just got the rest, the jank packs that were left. Um, but I just wanted them. I mean, I actually didn't really care about the Jumpstart packs. They essentially came for free in the lot. So um, I just wanted the other stuff. Pirates. Um, which isn't Commander Legends have like, doesn't they have like a good pirate sub theme? I don't know. I don't know what's going on these days with new products. You know me, I focus on the old stuff. Tree hugging. I know I have a couple of those, so those that's probably not a good deck. Um, smashing. Uh, can't imagine that's good. I know the big ones are elves, because that you either get a crater hoof or the Allosaurus Shepherd, um, which is a like hundred dollar elf. Rogue. Hey. Oh, and what's the other one? Um, Phyrexia? Is it Phyrexia or uh, Reanimator? Is supposed to be a good one? I don't know. I honestly have, I haven't opened it. Um, Archaeology? I know that's not great because I have a couple of those. I also drafted Jumpstart uh, around early October, right around my birthday, um, when we did the thing in the mountains and goblins. Oh, I think there's, isn't there like a $40 goblin? Alright, well, let's open them up and see what we got. Um, there's so many steps to this. Yeah, we drafted uh, in in uh, outside of Denver in the mountains in Colorado. Uh, we had like a weekend getaway. Um, shout out to the Night Watch. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I did well don't think I did well to don't start draft but it was cool but we had a lot of like duplicate packs um, I think there was uh, two of the same pack for one person and then two other people got the same that same pack and then there was like there was a lot of dupes goblin chieftain goblin goon I don't think this is the yeah this isn't the good goblin pack but this is I mean, there's some good goblins in here. Chieftain's a couple bucks. Goon, I don't know. Beetleback Chief. Yeah, that looks like fun. That'll probably stay together. Um, let's see, is Rogues any good? I haven't opened packs in a long time. This is, and this is why I don't open packs, because usually I, I have really bad pack opening luck. Gaunti, Lord of Luxury. I don't know if that's good. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Um, yeah, so most likely if I don't get any like crazy hits out of these, I'm just going to keep them. And we'll just play with them at the house. Um, my roommate kind of... We've been getting into flesh and blood, but uh, he knows how to play magic. I've been... It's been 15 years I've been trying to teach him, and finally he's kind of into it. Scholar of the Lost Grove. That's the second card in is Buried Ruin. And yes, it's buried. Buried. Anyone who says buried, I know technically, like, most people say it, and you're right, but, like, it's buried, right? Anyway. Um, buried means, like, somebody threw a bunch of berries at you. I just don't understand it. I get, I get crap for that all the time. I say buried. I just think it's writer. Uh, let's see what we got in Smashing. Volcanic Salvo. I know that's not a hit because that's a reprint. Yeah, these are pretty trash packs, it looks like. Um, sorry, the camera does not want to focus on the cards. Am I bad at this? I mean, I know I'm bad at YouTubing, but... Tree Hugging. I'm interested to see what's in this because I have a couple of those sealed packs. Um... Primordial Sage, Belfast Oak, Warden, uh, Wall of Blossoms. Aren't there like cool lands? Uh, that's kind of cool. 
like jumpstart unique basic lands. I know there's um, the Phyrexian one in the Phyrexian pack or Reanimator pack. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really opened these. Corsair Captain. Isn't that a hit? I think that's a hit. Let's see. Let's see real quick. I have my system up. Corsair Captain. Yeah, that's like a $8 card. That's not bad. That pays for the pack. Uh, let's see. Vampires. Now, I think... Is it Blood Chief of Get? Uh, Exquisite Blood is in this one? There's a... I think there's... I think all the Vampires packs are supposed to be decent, but there's a... A really good pack and a not so. Are we gonna get exclusive blood? Nope. Veto Thorn of Dusk Rose. Uh, all right, all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, let's see what well red is. I don't know. I wonder if is Brew back in here. I don't know. It's blue. Um, and I don't know which pack Brew back is in. But isn't he like a hundred dollar card at this point? Ormos. Uh, it's a Sphinx, so you know it's not going to be good. Because Sphinx just aren't. Sphinx and Kraken, notoriously BS cards in Magic the Gathering. Alright, we've got two dinosaurs packs left. I don't know if there's any. They put any heavy hitting dinosaurs? I know, obviously, Zakama is not going to be in here. Because that is, what, three color? Four color and it says green. So I think all these decks are mono too. Oh, Galta Primal Hunger. That is a good card. Okay. All right. I wonder if we're going to get a double Galta. Let's see. I was wondering what the. I'm pretty sure Galta is like a $10 card, isn't it? That makes it worth it. Galta Primal Hunger. Let's see. No, Galt is a $3 card. Never mind. That is not worth the pack. I mean, it's still a cool card. You know, get a bunch of little ramp ramp guys out. You could probably get, um... You could probably get... Oh, there's no, yep, two Galtas. Uh, you could probably get... To Galt on turn five if you really tried. Um, all right, that was fairly unexciting jumpstart packs, um, but just simple mail day video, see what's going on, um, no issues in the office here today, uh, pretty good Monday mail day, and uh, we'll talk soon about uh, what is bulk, how to sell a collection, and some other stuff. All right, guys, peace.